Hi guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a process video for you guys using the Journals for Life um, April kit. And I went ahead and I pulled out two sheets of paper out of the Traveler's Notebook insert. I took it apart, cut them down to size um, to fit in my little plastic thing. And this is what I got so far. So I have a grid paper, this pretty green, which I thought brought out the spring in these two photos of my son when he was playing in muddy puddles and he was a complete mud monster. He had mud everywhere, but he loved it. So, and I thought it worked really well with this die cut from the kit that says the most memorable days, the most memorable days end with the dirtiest clothes. And that was so true because you can see his jeans there. He was very dirty little kid. Um, I also picked out this Hello Spring, a couple of tags, and I don't know if I'll use all of these die cuts. This was just kind of the things that popped out to me that I thought might work well with this page. This one says let's go outside and then some hearts. So that's what I pulled out. Um, I also pulled out some washi for my stash, just some grid, a brown and a white with green just to see if I needed anything extra. Um, a couple of Catherine Polar stamp inks, polish and sage, some scrapbook.com, driftwood, pine, and then a black ink. So that's kind of what I pulled out to work with. And then I also pulled out a couple of stamp sets, just a letter stamp. And then this is one of the Journals for Life um, stamp sets. I thought about using this because it kind of reminded me of like a little muddy puddle thing. So. That's what I'm working with. Um, I will stop talking and go ahead and get into it. Alright, so let's get into this. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just going to shuffle around these die cuts and try to figure out a placement that I like. I thought about using all of those tags and you'll see here in a little bit in the end it just did not work and I ended up using two of them. And I actually decided that... I was going to have to do this shuffling off camera because it was taking me just, I couldn't figure out how I wanted it and it was just taking me a little too long so I figured I'd do it off camera and then I would not feel so pressured. <laughs> Sometimes I have to do that. So yeah, I didn't like that. So here is what I decided to go with, the final um, kind of layout idea. And I decided to use two of those tags and that memorable day um, quote with some hearts and little let's go outside and the hello spring. So now I'm just going to take that letter stamp that I showed you guys and I'm going to go ahead and type out or stamp out a title above that photo up there in that blank space. So there was a reason that I left that space empty <laughs> if you guys were wondering why that space was empty. So I'm stamping out the second word first, so it's going to say Puddles, and the title is going to say Muddy Puddles, because lately my little guy has been obsessed with jumping in the muddy puddles, and these photos his dad took of him were just too perfect, because he was covered in mud, and he looked like a total little mud monster, but he absolutely loved it. And I have to say, this April kit is one of my favorites. Like this kit has to be my favorite one for Journals for Life so far out of, you know, the ones that I have gotten since um, January when I became part of the design team. And this one's my favorite just because I feel like I can really use a lot of the die cuts and a lot of the things just work for me. So here I'm going to go ahead with that little um, splotchy stamp. And I'm just kind of stamping it in random places so like little pieces of it stick out. And to me it kind of just reminds me of like having little muddy puddles on the page. <laughs> so I think that worked out pretty well. And now I'm just going to glue down those photos and all that ephemera and do some final touches. And yeah, this was a really quick easy video once it all came together. I think the hardest part of this whole thing was deciding where to put those die cuts. And there was a lot of them, but uh, I like it. It's nice and full that way, and sometimes I don't always get that because sometimes I can't find things that I feel like work. So with this kit, this one especially, like these die cuts all worked really well with these pages. 
and the colors and everything look so pretty together so have that little hello spring because this was basically the start of spring um, it wasn't officially spring but we did have a couple nice um, warm spring-like days then we got some snow <laughs> so welcome to Pennsylvania weather I guess um, here I'm just gonna go in with my tiny attacher and add a couple little staples just to give it a little bit of dimension and detail and then I'm gonna add a couple up here at the top as well sorry that's totally out of camera view but yeah so there is the final layout um, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed Oh, I forgot. I'm just going to go in with the date stamp there real quick. And, um, yeah, that's just going to go up there above my title. But, yeah, so that's the final, final layout. <laughs> Again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll stay tuned for my next one. See you later. Bye.